This will be a quick how-to of how to level the bed on Ender 5 with the CR Touch. I don't know if it will be the same for a BL Touch, so don't ask. Alright, so I'm going to preheat, because uh, you're supposed to do this hot, uh, just because expansion. But you're going to auto home. And this is, after it's installed, this is how to set up the firmware for it. Now, if you see, our nozzle is quite high off the bed. Uh, it's actually 10 millimeters off the bed. So you're going to go to move Z and prepare. You're going to go prepare, move access, move Z, move 10 millimeters, and you're going to subtract 10. For some reason, I'm at 10.1, but uh, that's fine because we'll fix that in a second. So, I still have a small gap there. I'm going to slide my piece of leveling paper in there, and it slides easily. So you're going to move point one, and you're going to subtract from your move Z until you cannot move that paper. I'm, I'm moving the paper, which is why I'm doing this slow. You're going to subtract away from this move Z until you uh, get that right tension on that paper that you're looking for. So I don't know if you heard that, but you can hear a little change in the tone. And what it is, it's the, uh, the fan vibrating the nozzle. And when that nozzle starts vibrating the bed, I've found that that's where I get my best prints, is right when it's starting to vibrate against the bed. So we're gonna remember that our Z is minus 0.9. You're going to go back out, and you're going to auto home again. And remember what that Z number was, how much you had to change the Z. For me, it was minus 0 0.9. It's going to do its probing again. It's going to do its 10 millimeter move. You're going to control, bed level, probe Z offset, and you're going to go to minus 0.9. And this you can actually adjust by, you know, 0 0.85, 0 0.9, 0 0.95, and uh, you can you can use this the same as you use the baby Z steps. Uh, while it's printing because you actually lose that uh, baby Z steps so you're going to store settings after you do that or else when you shut your printer off and turn it back on you'll have to do the same thing and you're going to click level bed Once it's done leveling, it will be in this front position up here. And you're just going to go to prepare auto home. It's going to go home, back to the center point. And I'm using a random generic brand glass bed that I bought on Amazon for like 10 bucks. It came with two of the beds, which was lucky for me because I have two printers, so I just put one on each bed. All right, now we're going to go back to prepare, and we're going to check to make sure the Z offset is correct. So we're going to move 10 millimeters, and you're going to move 0.1 millimeters, and 
For some reason, our Z is setting at uh, a full plus one, but we're going to knock that down to zero. And at zero, you can see we are not catching, so we have to subtract a little bit more. So I subtract minus one more, and uh, it's a little tight, but it's there. It's touching now, which is telling me that I probably need to be at that minus 9.5. We set this back to zero. I'm gonna go back to control. Bed leveling. Probe Z offset, and I'm going to subtract negative nine or point nine five. And I have pretty much the perfect offset now. So now, after I've bed leveled and made sure that I have the right offset, I'm going to store my settings again and run a print. And one thing to note is once you uh, level your bed with a CR touch, it stores to your EE prong data. And so you will need to keep that same SD card in that same printer. You can remove it for like, you know, prints and stuff, but you have to have that same one back in that printer in order for it to do its same bed level. So I'm just gonna, what the heck? Run my print and get back to you when it's done.